Let's see if we can get a little sound clip of that supercharger, shall we? <laughs> God, will that ever get old? <laughs> wow. LA on my side, the passenger to LA whip. It's all good, I got love for my LA chicks. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Clutch392, and we are back with another banger. But first things first, I want to welcome all my new subscribers that smash that subscribe button. A lot of you guys came over whenever y'all saw the collab between me and Racer X. If you did not see that video, I'll put a link up here. Make sure that you go back and you check it out. It was an extremely fun video, big collab. But anyway, we are back today. You guys, most of you guys have seen my SRT392 with the crazy camo wrap and the built motor. But today, we got something different. I realize I haven't really given you guys a true walk around of my 2022 charger wide body hellcat red eye jailbreak <sighs> that is a long name so today we're going to be going over all the features of this car and why i bought it let's dive in all right so guys i'm going to be giving you all a full walk around from the front to the back of this car just letting you all know what you can expect if you want to purchase one of these kind of like the features and stuff that they come with now this one here was made specifically for me i custom ordered this i had everything built out to my specs exactly what i wanted but guys, before we even dive in, I mean, just look at this. It, the car, just look at how wide this thing is. The cars are already boats, guys. I mean, they are huge. Then to get the wide body on top of it, that thing's crazy, man. Let's let's pop this hood, man. Let me show y'all what's up underneath this hood. So if you're wondering what it's going to cost for you to get one of these cars, you're probably not going to pay anything less than $90,000. That's if you're lucky. You're not going to have any of these options on it. A lot of them are going to go anywhere from about 90000 all the way up to about 120000 just to get these things off the lot, depending on how you customize them. Now, this one here, this engine is actually, it's basically a Dodge Demon engine inside of a Charger. It is 800, that's right, 807 horsepower. The Demon is 808, that's on pump gas. This is not just your typical Hellcat. This Hellcat right here is actually the red eye, as you can see on this little badge right there so the main difference is guys that supercharger is a 2.7 liter which is bigger than the engine that's actually on my jeep sahara that's at the house and that's crazy it pushes out 14.5 pounds of boost which is over the irregular hellcat your regular hellcat pushes what 11.6 or something like that this engine actually has its own air conditioner unit its own chiller unit right there which i'll be going over whenever i get inside the car you're going to get all kinds of things with this you're going to get like your dual fuel pump which is going to help out you're going to get forced internals you're going to get a stronger drive shaft the whole nine yards so you can take this car down the track without breaking things now if you decide to go the cheaper route they do have this without the red eyes just regular hellcat jailbreak that you can get for i don't know maybe twenty thousand dollars less it doesn't have those reinforced components so you better believe going down the track there's a much better chance that you're going to break something you're going to get the green belt here guys if you ever see this green belt if it's on a regular hellcat just know that they are tuned they are not stock but it does come stock on this so it's going to add a little bit of extra boost check this out check this out this right here is why i went crazy to go get this car last call you will not get another one of these this is it this is the last v8 charger or challenger that they're going to be pumping off the assembly line so guys if y'all don't go out there and get them now i think production ends in december get them now or you will never ever be able to own one so more of the options that i went with was the all black badging i had to go with the all black badging to go with this orange and black car i wanted everything blacked out as you can see there 11 inch wide wheels now they do make jailbreak wheels that i mean they're actually growing on me but i just prefer these over the jailbreak wheels i just think that they look a little bit better to me i went with the hemi orange six piston brimble brakes work our way around here to the back it is 11 inch wide wheels all the way around now i did turn down the option to get the stickier summer tires because to me they both suck these are here the pirelli um all season which i'm pretty sure that when i floor it's going to be like skating on ice it's, i'm just i'm not going to be able to put the power down which is all right with me because you know i'm going to put some drag radios on the back of here really soon make our way around to the back we have some more blacked out badging blacked out dodge your srt logo back here is blacked out so i mean it's just a beauty the orange and black theme all over it's just a beauty let me show you guys trunk Pretty good size trunk for a sports car. I got my window stickers in here. Got some 
parts in here that I still have not installed yet. Those will be coming soon. Don't want to show you guys too much yet. All right, so let's make our way to the inside. As you guys can see, I actually optioned out to go with the sunroof for a couple thousand extra dollars. Got the peanut butter interior. Got your white stitching here. I went with the Alcantara steering wheel. This thing feels freaking amazing. I did not do the Alcantara roof because I got the um, sunroof, guys. So I was like, you know what? Half of the material is going to be missing anyway. So I ignored that option. Let me hop on in. I did. I did go with the, where is it at? The Harman Kardon speaker system. So I think it has like 16 to 18 speakers in here. Seat belts. You know, I had to go with the matching peanut butter seat belts. You're going to get your jailbreak on the dash. It's going to come with like this soft plush material. It's not leather. I guess it's supposed to kind of like mimic leather. But I did go with the carbon fiber inserts there, as you can see them again here. Again, I can't get over just the way that this Alcantara steering wheel feels. Let me show you what all you can do on this dash, guys. It's pretty nice. Let me fire her up. Oh, that sounds so good. Guys, look at that, 439 miles. Let me get these windows up so that you can hear me a little bit better. 439 miles on the dash that means i am only what 61 miles away from really being able to turn this thing up maybe take it down to the drag strip had the first last call car doing a quarter mile on youtube for you guys so here we're going to go down to the srt performance pages there's so much more that you can do in here than what you can in my manual srt 392 I have not tampered with the sport and track modes and stuff like that yet, only because I am underneath that 500 miles, like I said, but that's coming soon. Guys, you got your line lock in here so that I can absolutely roast the rear tires. You got your chiller. That's that AC mode that I was talking about earlier that I can cool down the supercharger so that when I do go to the track and I want to hot lap and really destroy these Camaros and Mustangs, I can do so. Shift light won't be needing that. I'm just going to let this thing do what it does. Drive modes, those are going to be your sports and track and stuff like that but here's the fun stuff you got your performance page it's gonna let this load up real quick all right so now that that's loaded guys it displays your horsepower whatever gear you're in you can add some different customized widgets in there so that you can kind of make this your own your g-force which is fun to play with but not before you get drag radios loving the timers guys you got everything your 60 foot your eighth mile quarter mile quarter mile speed everything my numbers are bad right now because like i said i've been babying it Let's see what else we got in here. You know, you're gonna have all your gauges, your temps and stuff. Here's that G-Force that I talked about earlier. Guys, this right here is what I really wanna show you guys. You have your own inboard dyno. Guys, most people have to go and pay to have their car dyno so that you can see what kind of um, power you're putting down. This thing is gonna show you your power, your torque, your RPMs, and it is live. So watch this, I'll give it a little rev. So you're able to watch your dyno, you're able to watch your numbers going down the road or at the drag strip and have them recorded and saved in your car, which is just, to me, that's mind blowing. Well, guys, that wraps it up for my video. I just wanted to make a short, quick video just so that you guys can finally see the car inside and out. But I do want to give you guys uh, my thoughts on whether or not I think you should run out and purchase one of these cars before they are discontinued. If you're looking to get one of these cars because you're into racing, you want to take it down to the drag strip or you want to do roll races in the streets down in Mexico, whatever you want to do, do I recommend you get this car if you're looking for the best time? The answer is absolutely not. Guys, this is a heavy, heavy car. It's very capable of running down into the nine seconds with simple mods because I think it's a 10.5 second car straight off the lot, but it's just not worth it with this price for that amount of time you can get a mustang and put in twenty thousand dollars and outrun this car easily now if style is what you're looking for if you want to be able to just drive down a road and turn heads i promise you there is no other car out there better than this right now in this price range and that can put down this much power that looks this good so i would definitely definitely recommend it if you're looking for style if you want to stand out no don't get it Here's one negative thing about the way that this car looks is there are so many Mopars out there right now. And the majority of people can't tell these cars apart. Um, I've had people that, oh man, you got an orange charger. My cousin has one of those. I see his cousin's car and it's a, a SXT or a Scat Pack. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not the same car. Don't put us in the same category. Let me get off that subject because I'll go off on a tangent. Next up. Are you gonna be daily in this car? If you're gonna daily this car, do not buy this car. You're gonna to have to have a separate car, something better on gas. This thing will eat your wallet alive. And finally, status. Guys, if you're doing it just for the status, just to be like, hey, listen, I own the last call V8 Mopar ever being built. Beat that. Then yes, go get this car.
And that's my thought process on whether or not you should buy this car. Thank you all for sticking around and checking out this content. Like I said, soon this car will be at the drag strip. I got all kinds of mods coming. I'm going to be installing myself. So stick around for this stuff, guys. But until then, peace.